Ha, ha, ha. Hi folks, welcome to a very wet, moist uh, walkie talkie. Well, I almost choked on my coffee reading this. Philip Schofield is set to have a return. Now, in every comics box on this and similar news articles, basically, uh, two cheeks of the same ass. I had a look at more than three. I can't, that's lovely. Anyway, more than three news vendors covering the exact same story. Philip Schofield to return to TV. And every comment box says, has he not caused enough damage the way it is? And very, very similar natured uh, utterances. I would be shocked and marginally disgusted to uh, think any a television provider would want to give him television space because he's damaged goods, he's lied, he has made people feel uncomfortable, he has uh, banged TV talent in his dressing room. Uh, do you think that would uh, stop at the moment he returns? No. He, he would be just banging the young talent uh, and stuffing the stuffing the pee pee up for his hoo hoo, <laughs> you know. There'd be no change. No, and oh, if I can't change its spots, unfortunately, I am absolutely shocked that anyone would consider having him back in TV given what he's been up to but then again some TV channels would be that desperate for views and clicks they would just bring him back for a lull maybe even just drop him for a lull in the same way that he was garnered but yeah there's no exact TV channel that has provided specificity as to what channel he's going to. Hopefully, at the 11th hour, this idea of returning gets chucked in the bin. Because once a TV channel takes them on, it will be just known as the Pedo channel. And talking of that, Right, he has said he didn't do anything illegal, right, but the yeah, very interesting thing is, he had foreclosed Matthew McGreevy's house very, very quickly, and used a lawyer that actually defends beetles. So, my, what I'm trying to say is, when that house was foreclosed, and taken away from Matthew, the context taken out as well. And you know, when I said in our previous uh, walkie talkie, the, the telling way to find out if uh, Philip Schofield did anything of the VP variety uh, would be through finding Matthew's old phones. And I'm sure it's sheer speed. Of this whole closure, way it happened, Matthew wasn't able to collect his phones, his tablets, and anything that could store text messages and WhatsApp data. I think what's happened is the foreclosure's happened that fucking fast. He's barely been able to get the house with his clothes on his back and all the devices that would have told 100%. Of certainty if Philip Schofield was or was not have been rounded up, put in a rucksack and burned. Because 
fill it when they want that data to be readily available in any capacity it would ruin them so my personal opinion is it probably is but because the data has been incinerated because the house got foreclosed and the phones got put in a bag there's absolutely no way to prove anything sadly so unfortunately he's still got a halo on his head although he's accused of skipping <laughs> sex friend or whatever you know but the uh, best thing I could ever say to it imagine that I had I say so and I could talk to all the tele, the tele channels at one time best thing you could do is boycott the idea of bringing them back he's damaged goods he's probably mentally damaged to some degree and also if, if, you, do, if you don't want your TV talent to be bummed in a fucking uh, dressing room keep him away because once you get him on your company unfortunately shit attracts flies what I'm trying to say is shit att attracts trouble right I think if anything uh, Schofield needs about five years away from the Tellers UI to let his personal issues simmer and to get treatment for whatever um, I tell it, my screen is so anyway, aye I think he needs time to build on himself before coming back to TV and build on his personality get the required amounts of therapy and maybe take minor roles here and there he has been seen with Declan Donnelly and Deck. that's going to piss uh, that's going to piss uh, Holly Bullshitter off uh, but then again it takes nigh on to little to piss her off I can tell you that for certain TV industry needs people to be squeaky clean no skeletons in the closet no criminality on their, their uh, criminal record and certainly no instances of a uh, bombing in the dressing room we pay hundreds for a telly license and we don't even get good telly we just get crap uh, clap along bullshit like and the Saturday night takeaway it's you know we pay nearly £180 a year and what do we get? Perverts and dressing rooms I mean, really if I was speaking to TV uh, the TV industry actually like, pull a finger at your arse do something creative and stop employing pedos anyway since that's all said and done I am going to uh, head off and have a happy day